ICT said himself that if you do this strategy, you could quit your job in 90 days. Now that is a very big statement, a very bold statement, but it's one that I think ICT can make because he has proven himself to be a pretty formidable um, teacher. But the issue is that a lot of his, his teachings are quite in depth. You need a lot of time. So this video, I'm gonna dive into this statement and let's see, can you quit your job in 90 days by using this, which is the silver bullet strategy. That's the strategy he was talking about. Um, so we're gonna dive into some some information, some interesting, interesting uh, things that you need to think about when you're talking about quitting your job. The first thing we need to remember, guys, is that everyone's job and everyone's salary is different. So what is your amount? What are you looking for? What do you need to quit your job? So I'm don't, you know, start this and in three months, quit your job regardless of what's going on. Make sure you have some kind of plan in place. This is very important, guys. Make sure you understand the numbers. Don't just dive head first into it, you know. Um, it might be the shallow when that you're diving into it and you smack your head pretty hard. So let's look at this. So for some people, $3,000 a month is their salary. Let's say that's what you're looking at. You're looking at getting at least $3,000 out of the market every single month. And then at that point, you're happy to, to quit your job. But with that being said, do you have savings? Do you have money put away that if this doesn't work, you've got a backup? I would not jump into this if you have very little savings or you don't have any safety net um, so this is what i'm going to talk about you can build a safety net set this all in place with trading so for some people 90 days might be achievable it, it might be possible because they have these things in place already if you have nothing in place 90 days is going to be a very very tall ask so let's have a look at this for for a second i don't want to go into this too much because the point is the strategy you guys are here for the strategy you want to see how it works you want to see you know how, how it can be traded if you can trade it i know we, we're going to get to that but let's just talk about this first guys let's just start with someone who has two thousand dollars to throw into a personal account can they make their wage in three months okay so let's say on average what, what are you looking at about six percent monthly even if we say ten percent which is on the high side because we're talking about passing challenges as well in this in this uh, video which is ten percent so ten percent is attainable you've got to be a little bit more aggressive but if you're going to be that aggressive ten percent is possible if you want to be depends on your your risk tolerance as well if you only want to risk like one percent per trade I think you'd be looking at about six, seven percent uh, per month. You want to risk a little bit more. Ten percent is achievable. So let's look at ten percent because it, it is a little bit on the high side. But let's just look at that because I think that is possible with the silver bullet strategy if you if you trade it correctly. So uh, we're looking at three months, guys. Three months is ninety days. Uh, compounding monthly, that's fine. So let's calculate what that looks like. So you would have made six hundred and sixty-two dollars in three months, guys. That is not enough to quit your job on. You're making about $200, $240 a month. That's not enough to quit your job. So you can see $2,000 is not enough to put into a personal account and in three months quit your job. Definitely not. So it comes down to your initial investment, guys. What do you have to invest comfortably? I'm, to I'm not talking about take your life savings and put it all in there. No, I'm, taking a I'm talking about do you have, if you take $50,000 from what you have, are you still leaving some there? You know, you got to remember when it comes to trading, no matter what anyone tells you, are you willing to lose fifty thousand dollars? Are you willing to lose two thousand dollars? Every person is different, right? So let's have a look at that. Let's look at ten thousand dollars. You got ten thousand dollars to put in. You're making ten ten percent a month. In three months, you would have made three thousand. You're making a thousand dollars a month. Can you live on a thousand dollars a month? Can one thousand dollars a month replace your current salary? For most people, I think the answer is going to be no. So ten thousand is not enough. Let's go to 50,000. Right now we're talking about $5,000 a month. This is getting to a point where this can replace. But remember, you're not going to be taking the full 5,000. I would be taking half of that, two and a half thousand dollars. The other two and a half I'll be putting back in, or maybe 3,000 and then put 2,000 back in to keep growing my account. Because if you're taking all the profits at this point, your account becomes stagnant and that's all you can ever earn. You wanna keep growing as a trader. You wanna make sure that your, your income is growing. It's getting bigger and bigger. You're getting rewarded every month more and more and more. So you wanna compound your account, guys. So now this is a point where you can potentially look at quitting your job in 90 days, right? 
two or three thousand dollars a month and you're still growing your account i think that's possible so have you got fifty thousand dollars to put into a a real account and start trading my guess is that's a lower percentage of people most people will not have that right so most people you're going to be looking at having something like two thousand dollars five thousand dollars max ten thousand dollars if you're this person what do you do how can you get to a point that you can quite quickly you know quit your your job and do this full time well obviously we're going to look at prop firms guys prop firms is i think the best way to get capital to get to this point right with a prop firm, not only can you make a, a monthly wage, you could also filter some of that money into a live account, a personal account, and slowly grow that. So you have two places that you can benefit from the prop firms. So number one is, can we pass the prop firm challenge and the, uh, the, the two phases with this strategy? Yes, we can, and I'll show you that. So you got $2,000 to play around with. Go to FTMO, any of the other prop firms that you trust, uh, make sure you do your research. I'm looking at FTMO just with everything that's happened with prompt firms recently. FTMO is kind of the one that I'm going to be using because it's been around for the longest and I think it's the most trustworthy at the moment. There are a lot of other good ones, um, but just, you know, for the sake of this video, we're going to be talking about FTMO. So for half of that, around $1,000, you can buy yourself a $200,000 account, okay? $200,000. If you have less than that, let's say we're looking at a $100,000 account, which is going to cost you $500. That's your initial investment, $500,000 guys with the strategy i'm going to be showing you silver bullet how i trade it you can have your funded account in about a month and a half to two months okay so let's talk about this 10 percent. we're still going to trade fairly aggressively 10 percent hundred thousand dollars we are going to be pulling out in three months three uh, thirty three thousand so we're making ten thousand dollars a month so once they've taken their twenty percent you've got to remember there's a profit split they're going to take twenty percent you're going to be left with about eight thousand dollars now this is eight thousand dollars that you have you don't have to keep putting in because it's, there's no account. But what you can do is you can take $4,000, that's your salary, and then the other $4,000 you put into a, you slowly start growing your own personal account, right? After three months, that account is sitting at $12,000. After a year, you're over, over $50,000. Um, so you, you can slowly grow a, a personal account while you're doing this. Don't have to trade that, just keep building it, building it, building it. Let, let the, the prop firm grow your account for you, but you're still making about $4,000 every month. Now with that first, the first payout, go in and buy a, uh, a $200,000 account, right? So now all of a sudden, once you pass that, you're looking at $300,000. Yeah, maybe it's like six months down the line, but now you're talking about making 99, you're looking about $30,000 a month that's when it changes completely right so this i think is is far more attainable you can make more money and you you have to spend less 500 dollars to start this whole process um so let's let's look at that guys let's look at that because i think majority of people are not going to have that fifty thousand dollars to invest so let's look at that let's get financially free in 90 days let's go right so i'm just going to minimize this Right, we're going to go into some backtesting. In the window for the backtesting, I'm actually going to explain the whole strategy for you guys in the simplest way I know how. We're going to just do a step-by-step -step guide for you guys how to get in, in and out of these trades. I'm also going to be talking about how I manage my trades, which has also been a game changer. And a few other things that I've done since my last video on uh, the Silver Bullet. If you want to check that out, go check that out. And also, I'm using FX Replay, this tool, which is a backtesting tool. I absolutely love it. It's changed my trading. I tell you that much because I've learned so much from what I'm doing and I've made tweaks. And I'm going to talk about one of the things I've changed as a result of doing backtesting for Silver Bullet. So you can see I've done a lot of Silver Bullet. I've done a lot of backtesting. I mean, I backtest all the time. You guys know that if you've seen my last video where I backtest, backtest, I talk about this. And in fact, my last video was talking about three tools that every trader should be using. So make sure you check that out. One of them is FX Replay. Right, so we are going to be looking at the silver bullet for prop firms, guys. This is what we're going to be using to pass our challenge. We, what we're going to be using to make, take money from and give us a wage and get us to a point where we are quitting our job in 90 days. Please don't quit your job just because you've watched this. Make sure you're doing your own backtesting. Remember, guys, this is all just educational 
and for the fun of it. But it is serious because if, if you guys do take it seriously, it is possible, but don't do it just because. Make sure you do your research first, do your own back testing, make sure it works for you. Um, but I'm just telling you what the potential is, okay? It is, there is potential in this. So I'm looking at Euro USD. I haven't traded Euro USD much, so let's just go into that. Uh, I've gone back to the beginning of last month, beginning of, or, no, August, sorry, two, a couple months ago. So still fairly fresh data. All right, just wait for this to load and we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step for you guys. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I have got a silver bullet indicator on. All that is doing for me is marking up the time that I trade and it's marking up the buy and sell side liquidity and it's also giving me the uh, fair value gaps. So you can go on to, on to trading view and you can find there's loads of indicators. I'm not going to tell you which one to use. Uh, you don't even have to use one to be honest. The other one I'm not even using to be honest. I don't even need it on here. Um, it's just the sessions indicator does the same thing. Um, okay, so let's start talking about this guys. Let's talk about the steps you can follow to get to your financial freedom okay so very simple this one guys it's simple we start off we're doing euro usd you can do gbp usd you can do nas 100 you can do sp uh, s p 500 those are the four that i've tested if you guys want to test others test them but those are the four that i i trade um euro usd i've tested a little bit recently it's looking pretty good so that's what i'm doing now um so steps to follow guys step number one mark out your 10 a.m to 11 a.m window new york time very important if you guys are on the uh, trading view you go to this little time zone down the bottom and click utc minus four if you're using any other time frame then make sure you've worked out what your 10 a.m 11 a.m new york would be for your time zone um I'm, I'm just doing that because it's easier. All right, guys, then number two is I would always start looking at the chart from 9.30, okay? So you mark up your 10 a.m. This one hasn't marked up the 11 yet. So I'll just mark it for you guys. So it's between there and there. I'm only taking my trades between there, guys. But then step two, I go to the chart at 9.30, okay? And I start watching from 9.30. Step three is I wait for liquidity sweeps on the five minute. I suppose part of step three would also be to draw out your liquidity. If you don't know where liquidity is, I would suggest just using one of these uh, indicators that will show you where liquidity is okay so that's that's uh, my suggestion if you are new to this just use an indicator that shows you the liquidity they're normally pretty pretty accurate um, and it's probably better than you guessing where they are I would say that's probably going to be more accurate than someone trying to guess if you understand liquidity and you know where liquidity is draw it out yourself I would always say trust your own um, I'm just using this because we are going to be also you know this I'm sure there's a lot of people that are new to trading that are looking at some way to get profitable so this is videos for everyone okay i'm going to just remove this we know we know that that's 11 o'clock so step number three we wait for one of these liquidity points to be taken right so i only trade this setup when i come to 9 30 i want to see a buy and a sell side liquidity pretty close to where current price is if there's nothing like let's say for example this move down happened extremely strongly and there was no liquidity all the way down and the only liquidity was up here i'm probably not going to trade it unless it pushes down and takes the sell side then i'll take it but if it starts slowly pushing up i'm just not going to take that trade uh, <clears throat> why why am i not going to take that i'll tell you why because of back testing this is what i was talking about back testing has taught me so much about my strategies and it's told me how to tweak them and refine them one of the ways i've refined this is i have dropped those setups out of my trading completely it does mean some days go without any trades that's fine i have gone from a 55 60 percent pass rate or i mean win rate uh, for the silver bullet to about an close to an 80% win rate by doing this. Okay. So huge difference guys, massive difference. Um, and that's just from back testing and learning from what I've, what I'm seeing and learning from all the statistics that I get from that. So back testing is so important guys. Um, all right. So step number four, uh, yeah. So you're waiting for liquidity to be swept. So as soon as liquidity is swept, you will then switch down to the one minute. Okay. So let's just play this as we go. So step number three, we're now waiting for a liquidity sweep. Okay, there you can see the liquidity has been taken and this indicator when liquidity is taken, that line disappears, okay? So you can see 
that has been taken so now what does it say it says now we switch down i'm just going to move this closer we switch down to the one minute let's do that one minute and now we wait for market structure shift or a chock with a fair value gap very important guys uh, that's why i've put this all in as one step some people will say step four wait for the market structure shift step five wait for displacement step six wait for no i all of this has to happen together it's pretty much a market structure shift with a chalk or a chalk with a fair value gap okay so we've had that market struck i mean we've had the take of liquidity now we're waiting for a market structure shift this is very important as well guys and i see a lot of people getting this wrong market structure so you can see you've got up down up big push up there now where are we now we're, we're kind of here okay so if we if we end up just hold on let me just remove this uh so we've got that we got that we got that we got that up there and we're currently about here so i'm just going to leave that there for now guys if we turn around now and we get a fair value gap here but it doesn't break this for me this has to break guys this has to break for it to be a structure shift at this point okay so let's just play price forward right you see that you see the fair value gap some people would already be train changing uh, trade trading this or marking it up because they'll be like oh there was a shift there that that low was broken that's an internal structure guys that's internal structure i don't look at internal structure i look at the bigger picture okay that's how i trade you guys can look at internal if you want but for me i find that it doesn't hold nearly as much okay so now i want let me just grab this i want this to be broken and then i'm interested okay so let's see what happens boom broken perfect i'm just going to delete this to make it cleaner you can see my point of interest has been broken my structure has been broken now let's look at this fair value gap right over here guys this is the fair value gap i'm looking at um, at the moment it's sitting at about you don't have to do all of this the fair value gap is is pretty much what you're looking at but we do like to see the fair value gap sitting above the 51 in a more of a premium so i would like as an extra confidence i'll still take this trade i would like to see price push down to about there before it comes up then that's going to be just going to give me a little bit more extra confidence in this trade you don't have to do this guys it's just something that i do um so let's just play it out let's see what happens coming back up i should actually already have my order in place sorry guys let me just do that so i'm going to delete this for now so essentially what i'm doing guys is i'm placing my order when it's a small fair value gap like this guys i do like to give myself a little bit of extra so i'm not going to place it on the start of the fair value gap i'm going to start doing a little bit lower because sometimes what will happen is we'll just tap and it'll move down because the spread it doesn't actually enter me in okay now you've got two places you can put your stop like i said let's just go back to the, the steps here so um it, we've done this step four switch down to the one minute wait for market structure shift we've had the market structure shift you see that there and we are with a fair value gap you can see that now we place a pending order on the fair value gap i'm a little bit lower than the fair value gap just because guys i want to make sure that i get into this trade okay i don't want it to leave me behind now your stop loss nearest swing so most of the time i want it to be the highest swing point for that turnaround but that's quite far away that's too big a stop so i'm going to do this swing point right over there give myself a little bit extra there and then where's my take profit going to be i did say take profit is managed my initial take profit is always going to be the next sell side that's just where i place my order but i will manage that and i'll show you how to manage that okay so let's just place this order now very important guys next thing to 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 bear in mind with taking prop firms i would normally risk one percent on a on a, a live account on a, a personal account but for a prop firm i'm going to be risking two percent i'm only taking one trade a day so i can afford to risk two percent per trade okay and also we want to pass the prop firm uh, as quickly as we can and in some cases not anymore a lot of them have no time limit but if they do still have a time limit you've got a month to pass this so let's save that so you can see now there's our our position is in place it's been placed so let's see what happens 
options. I'd like to see this pushed down a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So that should definitely be in uh, premium price now. So let's see if this tags us in. And as soon as it's tagged us in, I'm going to tell you how I manage my trades. Okay, we are now in and now we're talking about step number seven, which is TP managed. Okay, so what I will do at this point is I will just give myself an idea of where 0.75 1 to 0 0.75 is okay so i want to get anywhere past that anywhere from there to one so from there to one is what i'm looking at okay that's what i'm looking at anywhere from there onwards i'm going to be taking 75 percent off of that position okay and you'll see how powerful this actually is okay so that moved big time i'm now going to close 75 percent of my trade it was a nice strong move so it happened quickly now i'm going to just reevaluate where my take profit is guys at this point i could play it safe and i could just say okay there's now a new sell side that's been formed so let's just target the sell side at a 1.5 or i could stick to what i originally had which was all the way down here let's just play it a little bit safer guys let's just go to this sell side so that's now my new take profit zone let's just take it a little bit slower because i think we can possibly hit that okay there we go in and out and let's see if it would have gone further down my worry is that it's going to take liquidity here and it's going to push up and potentially go for these uh, so let's see what actually happens here let me switch to the five minutes so we can go a little bit quicker move this out the way zoom in so we can actually see okay we came very close we didn't actually hit the stop but with spread we might have Okay, went back to the same cell. Okay, we're out. You can see there it took us out. So it was just as well we took there. Um, that was a bit of a, a stretch. You know, even, even if we went for that as our take profit and it took us out, we still would have walked away with some profit. So we're currently sitting on 102,500-ish. Uh, perfect. That's after the first day of trading. Lovely, lovely. So let's go to the next one. I'm only going to do about two or three trades for you guys. Let me know though, guys, because I, I, I'm always, I, I never quite know at this point. Do I just play out all of the, um, all of the back testing? So do all of the back testing until I get the pass, or is that too long? Are you guys going to watch all of that? Do you guys want to see? Uh, me do the back testing and see every trade play out or do you want to see a couple and then just see what the results are at the end uh, are, are you even going to watch if i do the full back test um, let me know in the comments will you watch if it's a slightly longer video i always worry that you know if it's too long people are just going to click off and, and not be bothered so if you guys want to see more of the back testing i will do but for this one i'm only going to be doing about two or three and then i'll just finish the back test and i'll just let you know how it went and how many trades it took to hit that 10 percent because we're talking about an ftmo here okay so let's go to the next session i'm just going to keep moving this along so we can still see what's going on and again guys you can see the setup is nice we have got the buy side and the sell side right there so let's see what gets taken first i'm guessing sell side yes we now switch to the one minute keep an eye on that market structure that is not a market structure shift there guys actually it is but we are not in our time period yet and it's just broken so uh, we're just waiting for that sh uh, structure shift now i'm waiting i'm waiting there's nothing it's got to come all the way up to here guys um wow this is pushing down quite strong i'm now looking at this this is what i want you might get a lot of people saying okay trade this now i'm not going to trade that because i need to see that broken i need to see a clear shift guys otherwise i'm not interested and that right there you see it's not really pushing up and we're out of that we've reached 11 o'clock after 11 you don't take a trade no matter what happens guys so we go back to the five minute and let's go to the next silver bullet new york session this is the am session all right guys we've got liquidity here and we've got liquidity we've got a lot of liquidity look at the three things down the bottom there now what i want you guys to think about think about it like this right for price to move in one direction it needs to build up positions it needs to build power to go in the opposite direction it's not just going to move how does it do that by grabbing liquidity by grabbing orders by getting liquidity basically and think about it like this right if you if you're shooting a bow and arrow the further back you pull that string the further that arrow is going to go right so that pulling the string is like grabbing your liquidity grabbing liquidity grabbing liquidity and bow price goes off in the other direction so think about that guys here's your string these are your arrows pulling against pulling against pulling against and pew, off it goes right so think about it like that uh, price needs to grab liquidity before it moves um, so let's have a look at what happens here i'm guessing low will be taken first which is 
Now we switch to the one minute. <clears throat> I'm only going to do two more for you guys and then I'll just uh, go through it quickly to let you know what happens. Um, okay, we've taken it again. This right here is, I was just going to mark it. This is my structure shift, guys. So if this now gives me a uh, FEG, I'm ready to trade because it's in my window, okay? No FEG, guys. I can't take that trade. Some people will be like, take it off of that order block. I can't. I, I trade FEG and it's, it's my rules. So if that doesn't happen, I'm not taking it. Okay, now we have an FEG. So we're going to take this setup right over here put in our position um, I'm just gonna this is so close so I might as well just do the bottom of it I'm gonna do the bottom and then my take profit is gonna just be up here just before that buy side liquidity okay so same again we are looking at risking 2% let's see what happens okay that's just tapped us in perfect um, in in an actual account I probably like I said it would be a little bit higher so I'd, I'd I didn't even think about that, but I need to always be a little bit above just to make sure if that happens that I'm in. I am in now, so let's go with that. Um, I should really. Yeah, I should have already taken my partials, guys. I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, let's just see if it comes back to about there. Oh, gosh, I hope this doesn't stop me out because I should have already had my. Uh, my my position should have already been risk free. I wasn't paying attention, guys, but let's see. Um, I don't think this is going to come and stop us because we've had that shift. So this is a strong support. Okay, there we go. We're moving back in the right direction. Okay, there we go. We're now sitting at, what is it? Uh, yeah, so we can now, anything over 0 0.75, I'm going to take my um, my 75% off the trade. Save that. Because this buy side is there, I'm going to take it now just because in case we have a push down against that, at least my, my position now is risk free and I still make a little bit of money. That's why I've worked it out to that point that it's not a risk free. I'm not a break even trade. So even if it comes down and stops me, I'm still going to make a little bit of money. So now where's my take profit going to be? Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to leave it where it's at. Um, might bring it down a little bit to that the beginning of that order block over there so let's just do something like that and let's let this trade play out there we go perfect so we've just taken that guys we're now sitting on 5,000 profit after two trades okay let me do one more for you guys what are we looking at in terms of time uh, let me just see uh, okay just about 30 minutes I don't want it to be much longer then let me do one more trade for you guys let's go to the five minutes because um, I do want to show you the setup that I don't trade. So hopefully that'll come soon. <laughs> the very next trade. Love it. You can't, you can't make this crap up. Okay, so let's talk about this one, guys. Remember I told you there's nothing above. We've come to 9.30. There's no liquidity here. There's nothing for it to grab. I, I want, I'm not going to mark this up as liquidity because it's, this is still part of the move. Um, how far do I have to go left? Look how far left I have to go. So there's buy side all the way there. So if I push up strong enough and I take that before or just in the middle, beginning of this, then I'm willing to get into a trade. But already I can tell you this is a setup that is not looking great and I'm not that keen. And remember, I said to you, how do I know this? Because of my back testing. So I'm already a little bit on the fence about this one. OK, so we have a new buy side over here. So let's just zoom in. If this buy side is taken, and I have a one minute change of character. I will take this. Hasn't taken yet, hasn't taken yet. Okay, so no, I'm not in that trade, guys. I'm not gonna take that trade. So we just go quickly to the next day. And all right, let's have a look. Now we've got buy side and sell side nice and close. So this is looking better. Nothing yet, guys. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Okay, that's two days in a row, no trades, guys. And that's okay. It's okay. Don't force trades. Don't ever force trades. All you're going to do is force losses. Okay, so very important, guys. If there's no setup, don't take it. Just walk away and wait until the next day. Only trade the setups when they're there. Don't get FOMO. Don't, don't worry about missing out. All right, we've just had a sweep of that liquidity. We now switch to the one minute, just following our rules, guys, and we're waiting for a market structure shift. Okay, so where is my current structure that I'm looking at. We've had the low, the high, the break of the low. This is now what I need to be broken. So let's see what happens here. That low is taken, which it is. I then move. This is now my new structure to be broken. You just got to follow price guys and see what happens. Okay, that has broken. Um, 
but this FVG has already been already been filled so there's no point taking that again so this now will be my FVG let me just move this out the way that's the market structure so this now is my FVG let's go to the long this is where I want to end and give myself a little bit more like I said um, I'm going to take it on this structure because there's nothing else below this there is the sell side but for me I think price is going to tap and go. You could go there. It's a bit too big. So I'm going to just take it there, give myself a little bit more. And then obviously my target is going to be up here. So let's place this order 2% same again. And let's see what happens here. Okay. We are in Ooh, came close and now we are pushing up, dancing around there. Let's just see where our 0.75 starts from. So anywhere from about there, Okay, perfect. I'm going to take that off. It's exactly at 1.1 now. Take my 75%. As soon as you've got your 75% of the position risk-free, don't even care about this trade anymore. Well, we do care about it. We still want it to go up. Let me just move this to... Let me move this to about there. That looks like a reasonable take profit. So let's go to there. And then let's just let this play out, guys. Oh, get so close. Okay, there we go. Taken. Done. We're on 108,000 guys. This would have you now at this point would already have the pass for a uh, true Forex funds or anything that is 8% target. You would have your pass. Okay. So let me just trade this out a little bit longer. I'm going to keep the screen on. I'll just speed it up just in case anyone was like, oh, you didn't do it properly. Um, but yeah, just please do comment. Do, are you wanting to see all of these play out? But for today, I'm just going to run through it quickly. So we'll catch you guys at the end. It might be one more trade. One more trade trade might be all we need. Okay. So we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I could have just played that out because it was literally the very next trade. The very next trade yielded us the win. So I'm going to show you. This was a little bit more subjective, this one. I took this as my market structure where I was seeing market to shift because I had the push down, had the push up. It did come back with a little one and then pushed up. Um, some people would say that is not quite the, the shift, but I went for it. It was a riskier trade. I already had made the $8,000, so I was, I was willing to risk it. Um, and you can see it actually tapped in perfectly. So I was looking at this fair value gap right over here. This one here, which had, had just been tapped into. So what I did is I essentially took the, the order block there. So you can see if I go that way, it was that order block that I was looking at and it actually tapped in perfectly. So there was still at least 50% of that uh, fair value gap. So essentially I went to the 50% of that fair value gap. It tapped in perfectly, pushed down very quickly. I got my 0.75, 75% of the position and I was risk-free. And then at that point I moved my, um, my take profit to this fair value gap in over there um, and you can see it tapped us out and we were we, basically you can see by our um, balance there 110,564 okay so let's have a look at those analytics now guys it was like five trades five trades and we were done so let's let this go out and I don't think I lost a trade there 100% pass there guys we got the uh we got the challenge done in four trades now this is this is not typical i promise you normally i'm around 80 percent. so normally for for every five i'm probably uh, losing one so um just this is this was a very good a good session um very nice you can see uh four in a row zero um I mean, not much, not much to show you there, guys. It took literally what, like a week, a week, and we passed the FTMO challenge. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. The setup is really good. How I'm trading it, I feel very confident with it now. Now you have got to test this yourself, check. But with this, I mean, essentially, once once I get the hundred thousand dollar funded account, I can then reduce my risk. You, you know, I can reduce my risk to go to one uh, percent and but you know if the stats are this good i'm going to continue risking two percent so i could potentially be looking at my target per month regardless of how quickly i make it ten percent i make ten thousand dollars a month i'm taking eight thousand from the market um i don't care who you are eight thousand dollars is a good wage um and i think at that point you can quit so let's say this took me a month and a half to um 
to get to the funded um, that's already half of your 90 days you've not made any money yet your first payout is after the uh, the next month so another month that's you're looking at a, your 90 days you get your first payout from that point on you're making on average about eight thousand dollars a month so there we go guys yes it is possible there are different ways to do it you can either use your own capital which case i would suggest you know you would need something in the vicinity of about fifty thousand dollars to start trading but make sure you're willing to lose it that's the big thing right are you willing to lose fifty thousand dollars big difference from that to saying are you willing to lose five hundred dollars to take a challenge um for me i don't have the capital i can't throw in a hundred thousand dollars not yet give me six months doing this then i'll come back to you and i'll say hey I'm throwing $100,000. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was as clear as, I mean, it was as clear as I possibly could make it. I hope you guys found it clear. I hope you guys understand the strategy I'm using. Um, I hope you hope you go and back test this, try it yourself. But please, if you guys did enjoy this video, please just take the time to hit that like button guys because I, I i love doing these videos i really enjoy doing these these back testing and remember what i said guys are you happy to watch longer videos because i'm happy to to record them i'll do longer videos where i do much longer uh back tests for you guys this one actually would have only been one extra so you know it is what it is um but yeah subscribe if you haven't guys for so much more content we obviously have our amazing amazing uh algo robot titan x that uh, we have so much success with just check out our videos we've got uh, people making you know some ridiculous money using that thing so you know this is also a way that you could potentially um have a few extra eggs in, in different baskets by trading this manually, making money, throwing all of that money into Titan X, letting Titan X make you some more money. Um, check out our videos, guys. We've got so many videos about Titan X, about other strategies. I've done so many videos about different strategies, um, talking about different tools you can use, and there's so much more to come. So please stay tuned. Um, we will catch you guys soon and happy trading. Bye for now.